Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Aquariuses out there. I do want to wish my Aquariuses out there who are watching a happy Aquarius season. I do hope you have had a beautiful birthday or if it's still upcoming, I hope you have an amazing birthday. But yes, Aquarius, this will be a general love tarot reading, so I will be... Um, doing a reading based off of the connection you're in. Um, if you're not connected to anyone currently, this could be someone from your past or someone who's coming towards you. We'll also be getting some clarification cards and also some advice. So let's go ahead and just get started. Do please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Aquarius, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. So let's go ahead and see what cards we do have for Aquarius regarding love, Ace of Cups, we also have the King of Pentacles, and Temperance. Alright, so we do have the Ace of Cups, oh, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and then we also have Temperance upright. So Aquarius, um, I feel like you you might be feeling stuck, um, but with me starting out saying that, just know that you're not stuck, you have options sometimes. We just need to let time heal things and provide more clarification, um, but I feel like your, your emotions are a bit blocked. You might be in your head a bit with the Ace of Cups in reverse, just not feeling like everything's like feeling like you know what you want but it's not coming towards you as far as like just feeling emotionally fulfilled like you could be feeling as though everything's fine but then again it's not and that's because I feel like your emotions your your keeping your emotions to yourself but with that you might be in your head a lot about love um so i feel like with the knight of pentacles also coming out in reverse you just you you feel stuck like you you might be withholding some emotions from a person or just there's a blockage within your love life with a person um with the temperance here i feel like you you want to create more of an open space. Um, you see she has one foot in, one foot out. There could be not a lot of effort that you feel is coming from this other person or um, you Aquarius putting in the effort when it comes to your connections and not getting what you want. So you might be feeling like there's a blockage and you don't know what to do about it because you Aquarius, you're present in your connections or with these first three cards though, Aquarius, I do hope this resonates for you, but I feel as though there's a blockage and you don't know what to do about it. Um, someone that you're dealing with currently, um, maybe if they were to be more accommodating or just like open to hearing your emotions and more understanding, then this would be released. Um, but so far, Aquarius, I feel like you want some balance, but you're holding a lot of things in. So let's go ahead and see what other cards we have. So we have Nine of Pentacles. Justice. And we also have the Six of Wands. So Nine of Pentacles, Justice, and Six of Wands. So Aquarius, um, I feel like whatever's blocked or whatever emotions you're holding on to, you're going to have clarification 
in some way but with the nine of pentacles coming out i feel like you aquarius you need to just tend to your garden like she's doing in this card um because the energy i'm getting is that you might be feeling stuck but you've you've reached out to this person or you've tried to make it work with the temperance tried to have it like 50 50 um but there's there's not a resolution or you don't feel at ease with the ace of cups so i feel like the energy here is telling you aquarius to just focus on yourself tend to your garden um with the nine of pentacles in reverse maybe you've been not putting enough energy into feeling stable but within yourself but also maybe um your emotions right now they might have you not focused on your career or your finances um so i feel like you aquarius you need to just worry about yourself and what you have especially if you've already tried to make that effort um because justice will come in um and i feel like time and just like not exerting any more energy into this it'll give you the answer you need regarding this connection regarding this person with the six of wands here aquarius i feel like once you or once you're given justice or clarification on this person's feelings or if they're really in this connection like you are um that'll give you the answer to move forward with the six of wands move forward with what you have and feeling confident feeling like you made the right decision for yourself let's go ahead and get the last two cards for aquarius so we have three of wands we also have two of pentacles in reverse and the last card we do have is the magician okay so dealing with um if this energy resonates and you're dealing with a person aquarius um i feel like they're they're not putting in the effort you're the you're the temperance card aquarius i do believe this is aquarian energy correct me if i'm wrong and we also have the two of pentacles here in reverse this is your person um i feel like you've been covering your bases aquarius as far as you knowing that you've put in effort into this connection um so right now it might be con it might feel confusing for you aquarius because i've been trying to describe like you've done everything you can do and because things aren't happening in this connection like you would like for them to you might be pointing the finger at you aquarius but i feel like it's this person you're dealing with that is the unbalanced one you're not unbalanced it's it's maybe just you dealing with their energy um with the two of pentacles in reverse when this card comes out depending on the other energy um this could also imply a third party it doesn't have to resonate um but i feel like your person has been maybe juggling something not putting in the same effort that you have put into them and as a result it has caused a shift in this connection um with the magician in reverse with this energy from your person aquarius i feel like this this connection might continue to feel as though it's not going anywhere it's stuck um but like i said aquarius you've covered your bases and with the three of wands for some of my aquariuses out there you could be long distance from this person which makes communicating with them more difficult but i feel like six of wands also with the three of wands aquarius this will be you if you don't feel emotionally fulfilled or stable with this person i feel like you'll be on your way and seeking other people other opportunities um you could be dealing with an earth sign so taurus virgo capricorn does not have to resonate so now Aquarius, we are going to get some oracle cards, um, first starting with the Hidden Truth Oracle, some extra messages about this connection. So let's go ahead and see what we have.
you came closer than anyone. Let's go ahead and get another card. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So Aquarius, with the you came closer than anyone, um, I feel like this might have been a longer connection where right now you're in this energy where you might feel stuck, um, but it might be also harder to let go because of the connection you've built with this person. Um, because you Aquarius, it might have been a hard, not a hard, but just like not as easy getting to this point that you are now with this person as far as longevity. And that might be something that you, it's, that might be something that's harder to let go um, when you have been putting all the work into this one person. Um, so I do feel like you Aquarius, maybe for a little bit of time, you've been like trying to sort your options, making sure that this is the right one for you and also making sure that you don't make some a decision you regret because of those feelings. Because with the Ace of Cups in reverse, Although it's in reverse, that doesn't mean that these feelings are hard to let go for a person. We also have, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. This might be something you can resonate to or with Aquarius, especially if um, you came or come to find out that this was not the person that you once knew or they were holding something behind you. So I'm actually just going to get one more message from this deck. And then we also have, I'm so attracted to you. Um, Aquarius, if this person, maybe you have confronted them about where they're at with this connection and if, if they would like to pursue things with you further um, and their attraction towards you, Aquarius, the mutual attraction, I'll say that, the mutual attraction might be just easy for this person to really not... This is more if this is long term or long distance Aquarius. Um, the mutual attraction for one another, it just it makes it harder to let go. I know that might seem very vague. Um, you could just be heavily attracted to this person as well, Aquarius. Um, but I feel like, like I was saying, Aquarius, if you've confronted this person about how you're feeling, if they're um, at the same, if they're on the same page as you, um, I feel like they might bring up the past and how you two have been through a lot together and it's more like an answer, like, of course I want to be with you, like, we've been, we've been together, we've been knowing each other for a while now, why wouldn't I? Um, so that might, uh, that might resonate with some of my Aquariuses out there. And lastly, we're just going to get some advice cards. This is from the Super Attractor Oracle deck. So let's go ahead and see what advice we have for Aquarius. The universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. Look at that card. Um, I really like this card, this deck, all together. Um, so let's go ahead and get one more card. And then lastly, Aquarius, we have, when I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. So Aquarius, uh, feel free to take these cards as affirmation, but I was describing throughout the reading um, that if you tend to your garden, then overall, that's the best you can do for yourself. Just worried or just self-love, 
being concerned about yourself, your own well-being. And like I said, Aquarius Temperance, this is your energy. I feel like Temperance is a spiritual tarot card. But just just stay positive. Connect to yourself. Go, go within, Aquarius. Don't exude or exert any extra energy when you feel like you're not getting anywhere with this person. The universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. Um, also, Aquarius, sometimes when we subject ourselves to lower vibrational actions, when we know for ourselves, although knowing can, knowing and being sure about something, even when we feel it, it could be a hard action to decipher and choose where we want to go next and what we want to do, even if it's the best for ourselves. But don't subject yourself to lower vibrational actions to find a resolution because you're blocking I feel like you're blocking your abundance but of course do what you would like to do but I'll just remind you Aquarius prioritize how you feel because usually your emotions tell you what you need to know but I will go ahead and leave it at that for my Aquariuses today as always I appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you next time bye